hi viewers welcome to our channel today we try to see how to read emails from our service then we can summarize on top of that one we can take some action all these things we try to do with n8n that is nothing but low code or a no code platform if you are new to our channel we have already created a playlist around n8n we already released 15 videos from session 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 to 15 please watch before that please subscribe to our channel without further delay now let us jump into the session now we are at the n8n workflow you can see my screen the first one is trigger manually that is the one node we need to select the second one will be the gmail you can type the gmail for this one what you need to see get many message you can see get many message so this is the one and limit you can see limit i am making as a five this is for a demo simplicity purpose i am selecting and this gmail now account we, we need to establish how to access the gmail so first one is create a credential now you can see the open docs is there authenticate to version and this redirect url client id and secret client secret we need to provide for this one you can open the open docs that will try to open this window we we need to go to the google cloud console project so i am going on to their cloud console you can see it over here so now here you can see api and services you can come over here from here you can see the gmail api so this is the gmail api we need to enable this is step number one after this one you can see the library credential authenticate consent screen these three we need to set first one is the credentials we need to enable so here you can see it over here it is not at all been there service accounts client ids api keys everything it is not there so create credentials you can api key authenticate client id this is the one we need to make this one now this is the application type is the web application application name you can see n8n and here you can see authorized redirect redirect url you can click this one you can come to our and you can select or click to copy and copy paste here and create so this is the client from where from that you can get client id i am taking the copy pasting the client id over here second one client secret i'm selecting this one pasting over here now after this one you can see sign with google wait for a minute we need to set the others also once in the credentials this is consent screen okay audience so here is the audience you can select the test users i am giving my gmail id save and you can come to the branding n8n user supported email and here also these things will be there under the audience i have selected the test users under the client you can see n8 n so this much information we need to provide under the google cloud console once this information is ready now come back to here and sign up with google it will try to open up this window 
and I am selecting this continue and it will ask the application name select all and you can see connection successful this is the step number one we try to do in this project once the connection is established now it is the time to check whether we can read the emails so here you can come to the settings and always output the data you can execute the step you can see I have received these mails in the JSON format or you can see the HTML or you can see the schema it is better to see in the table or a JSON format so here you can see ID history and you can see ID name and from to subject so like this every email will contain this information or these tags will be having these tags now it is the time to filter some of the things we need to move to the next for that I am using the filter node now we can see data transformation under that one combine items aggregate so this is the one I am selecting so individual fields are all item data into the single list so this is the data and include all the fields or specific fields so here you can mention the ID and snippet is very important you can drag and drop over here next you can see from you can see the from you can see to you can see the subject so this information is very much needed see ID snippet from to subject so this information only I am taking from here most of the information is there but I am filtering it out now here you can go to the settings all output data and execute the step you can see everything is ID snippet from to so everything is framing like a block it's a one block it's a second block it's a third block like this it is combining or aggregating and doing the things the name over here is aggregate now these three nodes is over now we try to select the AI under the open AI you can see messaging a model message a model so this is the one we try to select this one from the list you can select GPT 40 mini and here is the prompt we need to enter this is a messaging a model resource is the text under open AI account you need to come over here and give the API connection tested successfully this you need to verify it this is step number two where most important one is this and coming over the prompt so now we can see the prompt over here go through email go through this email summary identify all the key details mentioned any specific issues to look at and action item use this format to output summary of the email one two three how many action email one action email to action email three and input data this is entirely thing is JSON and the data to JSON string I am doing I am converting into the JSON so I am selecting this prompt and come over here and put over here okay so this much information is needed and output contained as a JSON now we try to execute this step now let us move to the table you can see summary of the email a package from Amazon second one a job alert third one unread message regarding the Upwork F fourth one new content fifth one ICICI bank so it is starting with the zero and coming on to the four 
action item action item 1 2 for each mail it has mentioned the action item if you can come you can see the json if you can come you can see the table you can come and see schema all these things we have executed manually now it is the time to trigger now I am executing the workflow by clicking executing the workflow and you can save this one now you can click this one come to the JSON and you can see the summary of the email the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one actions all these things it has been mentioned so this is nothing but you were reading all emails from the inbox as we have specified only five top five so we can add a timer every day at a given interval it will try to read and summarize and it will give what need to be do or what need to be done with this one it can give the action item if you like this video or if this video has generated some value or knowledge to you please like share comment and subscribe to our channel if you have any doubts please write in the comment session your one like your one comment your one subscription tells the youtube to promote this video to the needy your one like your one comment your one subscription motivate me inspire me to do more videos in this platform please do the needful and we try to meet in the next video thank you very much